Bangladesh is self-sufficient in rice, growing 38 million tons a year. Rice husk is a byproduct and can be compacted into briquettes to replace firewood as a cleaner, more efficient cooking fuel. But there's still room for improvement, an even cleaner, more efficient briquette industry. Before being dehusked, the rice is heated in furnaces powered by burning dried rice husk. This is often an inefficient and smoky process. Step forward the Bangladesh Rice Research Institute. The main objective of this project funded by DFID is to improve the efficiency of the furnaces. The efficiency of this boiler is very low, 15 to 20 percent. Improving the efficiency of the furnaces means more leftover husks for briquettes. At the Bangladesh Rice Research Institute, they developed a prototype of an energy-saving furnace for installation in a working mill. I can easily stand here because there is no heat loss by radiation because there is a proper insulation. Pressure gauge and safety valve were also added to prevent the boiler from exploding and causing serious injury. But the process of producing briquette fuel from the remaining rice husk could also be improved. This screw, the key component of the briquetting machine, wears out after just eight hours. Once again, the institute stepped in. They found by changing the metal from steel to tungsten, the life of the screw was doubled. Tungsten carbide uh, is more hard and uh, this is to last for 16 hours. In Bangladesh, little is wasted. Apart from using rice husk as fuel, Bangladeshis utilize byproducts of rice for chicken litter, feeding fish, and even to clean their teeth. The research institute is now working on a way to use the rice husk ash to make cement.